right, so I am going to continue. I found another muffin tray in my kitchen, and I'm going to continue uh, doing the seedling. So first, I'm going to uh, put some of these muffin paper or um, cupcake paper. That's kind of open up and it's not really useful. So it's good to reuse something or use something that you can't use for something else and make it into something useful. So I, in each section, I'm going to add um, one tablespoon of garden soil to the cupcake or muffin paper powder. I'm doing this in the kitchen and it's like cooking. There's a big box which I don't need for seedling. Maybe for planting, but not seedling. Seedling, you need the soil to be finer, no box, so that the seeds can be properly moist and grow from there. So one spoon, tablespoon, it's like cooking, right? Okay, so I did some heirloom tomatoes and some uh, bell pepper already. I'm going to do some maybe red pepper. These are very interesting pepper. These are these are like um, very <coughs> oh it's spicy. I'm not sure if there's any seeds in this pepper. I don't see much. Maybe there's no seeds in this one. I saved it, but I don't see any seeds. It's only kind of crumbly, uh, dry pepper flakes. Let me see this one. Maybe this one got. Oh yeah, this one got some seeds. Yeah, good thing. My fingers are gonna be so spicy. Ooh, making uh, my nose. Oh, I think I got some seeds. Yeah. Okay, so these are seeds I saved from last year summertime. Wow, very spicy. I can smell it. And then I have some uh, some seeds. These are lantern. Lantern pepper seeds. Uh, they have a very nice flavor. Oh, I can smell. I can smell its uh, spiciness. I am putting a lot of seeds in one spot. Hopefully, something will grow out because um, sometimes they don't grow. And then I'm going to, so I have, um, these are lantern, these three spots are lantern, and this one is the long, very long um, hot pepper. So I have two more spots, and I want to try put some um, Thai basil seeds. So beautiful. When it was fresh, mm, I still can smell it. Oh, it's 
Smells good. Um, so when it were when it was fresh flour, I, I put I cut it and put it into a bunch, and then I just left them uh, at the window, the kitchen window where I wash my dishes, and uh, now it's all dried up, and it still smells so good. Oh, I put a lot. I don't know if they have room to grow or not. Ambitious gardener. Oh, it's so spicy. It's uh, it's making my nose water. Those uh, spicy pepper. So I'm gonna put one more spoon, kind of a level spoon of uh, soil on top of the seeds, just like that. One level spoon. Just enough to cover the seed, kind of even it out, so that every part of every part of the seeds are covered. This is the Thai basil seeds. Mm, it smells so good. Thai basil is very good with uh, with salad or those Vietnamese fresh rolls. Put shrimps and noodles and lettuce in and wrap with this basil. It's like so strong in its aroma and so yummy. And in the summertime, I grow a lot. So in the summertime, we always have all kinds of herbs. And that's why summer is my favorite season. You have summertime, you have fresh uh, veggies and herbs to eat and nice warm weather. So I'm, put, I'm giving each spot two tablespoons of water. Have you ever seen people um, start seedling like this in the kitchen with tablespoon measurement of everything? I just like to use things that I have uh, around the house and all you have to do is wash it afterward and then you can reuse it. No need to go buy fancy things. Gardening is very down to earth so don't need anything that's out of this world. To, uh, to grow things that you can eat just like old times right in the old time our ancestors had stick and stones so now we should learn to use do things uh, in the basic way and uh, be resourceful and not have to run to the store and uh, whip out your credit card and buy all kinds of fancy things right I'm adding a little bit more water because I mean uh, a little bit more soil because I uh, when I pour the water in it kind of um, take away the uh, the soil in the middle and show the seeds so just adding a little bit more that's all and so now my nose is running because the pepper seeds are so spicy and so there we are this is my second tray I had another tray uh, bigger but uh, we'll find a warm spot and then we are going to uh, water it every day a little bit uh, each day to keep the um, soil moist and uh, in a warm spot maybe in two weeks uh, you will see the sea sprouting and that's when I will show you as well and that is uh, the most uh, happy moments for gardeners 
is when you see the sprout coming out.